We are following breaking news here at HQ this afternoon in the world of coaching. The Browns were the last team that needed a head coach, and now that position has been filled by none other than the Vikings offensive coordinator, Kevin Stefanski. Of course, uh, lost that game to the 49ers yesterday, but that did not deter the Browns from hiring him, feeling that he was their best pick. He was the runner-up last year, but lost the job to Freddie Kitchen. So let's see what our guys in the Pick 6 Empire think. We are joined by Will Brinson, John Breach, Ryan Wilson. Uh, Will, we'll start with you. Just your initial reaction to this hire. How do you feel? Yay, nerds. The nerds win again. Uh, after a rough weekend for the analytics crowd, the Ravens got blasted by uh, running back in, in, uh, in Derrick Henry. And, of course, Kevin Stefanski's offense looked terrible for the Vikings. Um, Stefanski is the choice in Cleveland. He was the front runner last year when they hired Freddie Kitchens. The analytics department recommended, as Jason Lockenfor has reported, that the Browns hire Kevin Stefanski. Jimmy Haslam turned it over to, to John Dorsey, the, the, the then GM. Man, this stuff moves fast, right? Uh, and he decided to go with Freddie Kitchens, a.k.a. Freddie Outhouse. And now they are going back to the analytics world. The, this is very much like a uh, a, uh, a, a elderly person on the highway jamming the gas and the brakes over and over again in the left-hand lane. It feels like they have the wrong direction, but I do like the commitment to Stefanski here. I think one thing that really stands out to me is his aggressive use of play action with Kirk Cousins this year. He understands that that is a way to get significant improvement in terms of offensive production. Cousins uh, completed 71.5% of his play action passes last year. And if you look at Baker Mayfield, he was awesome on play action in 2019. 66.9% completion percentage, 1355 yards, 9.2 yards per attempt, 10 touchdowns and four interceptions. When he didn't have play action, 12 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. And so I think leaning into this, crafting an offensive scheme that will benefit Baker Mayfield will go a long way towards helping the Browns be decent next year. But we got to see who hires first. Uh, I think uh, we're underselling the point that the intestinal fortitude that Kevin Stefanski has. This man was passed over for a job by Freddie Kitchens. So he didn't go live on an island and just give up on life. He went back to work, did a fantastic job this year in Minnesota, and parlayed that into the job he probably should have had last year. He's 37 years old. He's young. We don't know a lot about him in terms of his managerial skills. And I think at the end of the day, are you a good CEO will determine whether you're a good head coach. We know guys that are great at X's and O's who have failed as head coaches because that hasn't translated in terms of motivating the players. And it seems like people who, who talk about Kevin Stefanski can't say enough how good he is at relating to people, whether it's the people above him, whether it's his players. And in fact, Brad Childress, who hired him 14 years ago, actually said, told Tom Palacero at NFL.com, said the best thing about Stefanski is he can keep his cool, keep a cool head when everyone else is losing theirs. And that's something we saw week in and week out in Cleveland. So the fact that Stefanski is now the next in line to be the Browns head coach, and we know that, that quote from Brad Childress, says they're going in the right direction. I think ultimately uh, owner uh, uh, Jimmy Haslam will have to be patient, somebody he has not been during his tenure as Browns owner. If he can be patient, get out of the way, the Browns can be successful. If not, we'll be having this conversation again uh, in probably about 12 months. Yeah, and we do seem to have that conversation every 12 months, Ryan. As you said, we don't know anything about how Kevin Stefanski is going to be as a head coach because he has no previous head coaching experience. And you would think the Browns would maybe be afraid to go down that route again after the disaster that was Freddie Kitchens. But if the Haslam, if the Haslam family has proved one thing during their time as owners of the Browns is they do not worry about public backlash or alienating the fan base because, look, we watched the Vikings and 49ers play. There were two assistant coaches in that game who are finalists for this Browns job, 49ers defense coordinator Robert Sala and Stefanski. Well, if you watch that game and you're a Browns fan, the guy you didn't want to see hired was probably Stefanski because the Vikings offense fell flat on its face against Sala's defense. So uh, I feel like Browns fans probably a little perplexed by the team making this move. And let's not forget, we give a lot of credit for what Stefanski did in Minnesota this year, but he had some help. He brought in Gary Kubiak, who helped develop that offense that he ran. Is he going to have that veteran coach holding his hand in Cleveland? We don't know that yet. So we don't know what he's going to do when he's on his own, when he doesn't have that safety net to fall under like he did with Kubiak. And plus, you know, the Browns, if they've proven one thing with the Haslams, they're not patient or anything. They've gone through coaches uh, like Brinson goes through facial hairstyles. You know, we've seen Freddie Kitchens, Hugh Jackson, Mike Pettin, Rob Chudzinski. Uh, so this is a very interesting hire. 
I, I think. I, I don't know if it's the best one, but it's definitely an interesting one. All right. Uh, since you took a shot at Will, I'm going to direct this toward Will. Uh, so we talked about, um, all of you mentioned how quickly the Browns go through coaches here. So how long, how much patience do you have with Kevin Stefanski to try to turn this team around? Well, I mean, like how much, well, I mean, how much time do I have or how much time do the Browns have? Because <laughs> the Browns, two, the Browns. Different answers. Yeah, I mean, look, the Browns should take, the Browns need to get a firm grasp on reality. They are a walking disaster, and they have been since they returned to Cleveland in 1999. I mean, season, good seasons are few and far between. You need to give him five years to see if you get a winner. They'll probably give him a year and a half. All right, our Will Brinson uh, joining us here. All the guys on the Pick 6 podcast, Will, we do like your beard. Uh, we are continuing, of course, to follow this developing news. I'm sure they will talk about it on the Pick 6 podcast. Make sure to download and subscribe. You can find it wherever you find your podcasts. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.